and ladies and gentlemen welcome back to this week's episode of the rum director uh, today i'll be reviewing mountain gaze uh, sorry again i need to realize what i'm saying first short on breath this is the first ever exclusive bottling by mountain gay for the whiskey exchange uh, so today i'm reviewing this so please stay tuned and i'll see you after this quick introduction So ladies and gentlemen, here we go. So I've had this bottle for quite some time. As you can tell, I've drunk a bit of it and I've got a pretty good idea of what it tastes like. Now, for the first ever exclusive bottling of this, sorry, got some trash right there. Again, I'm up here hiking. It's a glorious sunny day, 25 degrees and that's a bit just as out of Monaco. If you don't know where I do my videos now, this is where I do them mostly when I go for a hike. It's just outside my door and it's easy to get to. So quick and easy on this one. On the whiskey exchange, it claims to have 11 different flavors on the back of the bottle. It claims uh, aromas rich in coconut, honey, mocha, hints of baked apple and sultanas on the whiskey exchange website. It says it's got 11 different flavors and a lot of other sales spiel, which I'm not gonna break down. As you know, I'm not a particular connoisseur. So this is not yet quite cock strength. This is, sorry, my phone is vibrating, my watch is vibrating again, I should really turn this thing off. It's not quite uh, cask strength, it is 54%, which is 2% lower than what you would assume to be cask strength. Now, this bottle is about 100 euros, about 90 pounds, on the Whiskey Exchange website. You can only get it from there, and as I said, Mountain Gate been around since 1703, and in all of those 300 years, they've never done an exclusive bottling for one particular outlet. And this is the first one. Uh, I've had this for quite some time and I've been, I, you know, I've been lazy, I've been, a, I've been lazy, so I'm just getting back onto it once a week, twice a week, I'll do videos when I can. So, you're wondering, how does it taste? Is it a mixer? Do you birthday suit it? As you know, my Spirit Hub scale, it goes birthday suit it, rock it, mix it, really mix it, and then clean with it. The good news is, this is not a clean with it. Um, I will say, however, at 100 euros, it's a quite it's quite steep. As you as you as you know, I do not buy these for me. I buy these to, so that you do not make mistakes in which bottles you buy. And I can be quite critical, as you know from my video when I reviewed uh, Dead Man's Fingers. The link will be right there. Where I'm quite critical, and it was very much a POV me walking through Battersea Park, being critical of that terrible rum. <laughs> horrible, not horrible dreams. It's like Jeremy Clarkson when he thinks of caravans or French cars. Not going to get into cars just yet. Maybe soon. So I'm going to pour this out quickly. And uh, as you know, typically, as you remember from my last video, the link will be right there. This is one of those corks that's been sort of, it's not a pure natural cork as in taken straight from the bark. It's one of those where they sort of mix it all together and combine it. Uh, I'm not going to take a photograph of this, but I will do and I'll just put it right here now. So the nose is very pleasant straight off the bat. At 54%, you will get a lot of that burn coming in. So let's see. First ever exclusive bottling from Mount Gay 1703 for the Whiskey Exchange. Now I poured this down a little bit at 54%. I will be getting a bit of a rush from this. Now the nose is delicious. The nose really is delicious. I'm trying to ignore my people texting me at the same time. The nose, really good. Uh, it's got that burn, which you expect from 54%. And now let's see how it tastes. That's actually not I'm a bit short for words right now because I remember this being either my pad, it's just adjusting to higher strength rums. As you know, I've done three bottles of Foursquare, which are 56% and a bit higher, 59% as well. Links will be right there. This is actually quite smooth. Uh, this has been in my backpack, so I've hiked up and it's warm. That's actually quite smooth indeed. Um, because my first reaction to this, I was going to tell you, 100 euros, it's overpriced. Um, but 
I'm going to be actually, I'm going to do something contradicting myself now. This is actually very pleasant to drink. Does it need a, can you drink it on the rocks? Absolutely. But you can happily drink this as a slow sipper at room temperature. It has that burn to it. It sort of lights it up, sort of wakes you up that burn when you go, ah, oh. And it does, you know, it puts hairs on your chest. I don't need it. I've got plenty of hair there already. I'm not sure if you can see it through the bottle or not. But that's actually incredibly smooth. Is 100 euros quite steep for a bottle like this, which is cask strength, especially when, as you know, there are cask strengths which are significantly cheaper, about half the price of it. But if you want something for your collection, and if you're a fan of Mount Gay, which I'm getting ever increasingly a larger fan of it, as you know from my last video of Mount Gay Exo, which is right there, it's last week's video, it's incredibly good. The, pr the one th issue I have with it is the price. I know you're paying for the exclusivity. Uh, that's the one thing I'm caught on. Is it worth 100 euros? I'm very happy I paid 100 euros for it because I get to experience this first ever exclusive bottling by the Whiskey Exchange. And as you know, I buy a lot from them. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag want the sponsorship. That's my one shout out. Um, but aside from that, if you think 100, if you think if you want the exclusivity from it, and try something which is brand new from the from Mount Gay, and you can't get anywhere else, then sure, it's worth 100 euros. It's worth whatever you think it is. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, on the Spirit Hub scale, it's an absolute birthday suit. But I would rock it, and I've done a bit of mixing with it. But aside from that, I can't actually complain. It's got the typical the bottle shape. It's got the typical Mount Gay bottle shape, which is but it's as iconic as coca-cola currently and for a bar, it's one of the best barbadian rums uh aside from that ladies and gentlemen thanks so much for joining it's a beautiful day i'm gonna get back to hiking in fact i'm gonna go for a swim very shortly i've just had my lunch and wishing you the best weekend as you know quarantine is finally coming to an end hopefully bars and restaurants can open up so i can start doing reviews of bars and bar selections which is something which i've been meaning to do for quite some time especially down here in monaco Hopefully I don't get barred. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for joining. I'm sorry for rambling on for about five, six minutes. I've lost track, but I was quite shocked by this bottle, pleasantly surprised. Um, after my first few tastings, I was gonna get absolutely rubbish at 100 euros, how dare they? But no, 100 euros for the exclusivity alone, and that did it, it's a very smooth sipper, or maybe my palate's changed. I don't know. Um, but aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us again today. Have a stay safe, have a great weekend. And uh, this is the Rum Director signing off. Please don't forget to hashtag Rum for your life. It should be there and the uh, t-shirts coming up soon. Hopefully you'll buy some. Take care, ciao, bye.